Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show I'd like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. To keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers, and I'll also let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, right like this. So I've got these videos to look forward to, um, as well of course as doing the full showcase um, on the override figure. I've finally started doing these, and I'm going to have to do a bit of a disclaimer or a warning with this, because I was quite surprised at... Um, yeah, then they're not for kids, uh, so I'll explain that a little bit more when we get around to them. And of course, I've got this. Can't wait to get this figure done as well. So loads to look forward to on this channel. Even though we've had the craziest week, there's still loads more going on. And funnily enough, talking about Skybound, issue 2, sorry, issue 12. Issue 12 is out on the 12th of September, and we've again got some covers for you to choose from. So there's only three at the moment, I say at the moment, but that's because there's always about five or six by the time the actual magazine comes out, which I just think is amazing that still, I love it in this day and age that people still want to buy um, actually a physical comic, which I do, I think it's great. I know you can get a digital copy, but it's brilliant to have something physically in your hand. Right, this is such a coup, fantastic for TFCon Toronto, Toronto fans. Can't talk today, they're not up with me. Uh, they have, of course, got, as you can see, Stan Bush there. Now, whether or not he's playing or doing a special guest spot, I don't know. It just says that he is there, but I imagine they'll get him to do at least one song, surely. That would be amazing if he did. Right, maybe not something that I don't know too much about, but I'm going to read you out exactly what it is. It's on TFW 2005. This is Transformers crossover with Overwatch 2. Two collab teased. So less than an hour ago, so a lot longer than that now, Overwatch YouTube account dropped a trailer for the upcoming season 11, featuring all sorts of new cosmetic events, features, etc. And you might be wondering what this has to do with Transformers, and unfortunately there's no cosmetics to show at this time, but in the last seconds of the trailer, the Overwatch insignia transformed into the Autobot one, using the iconic transformation sound from the G1 cartoon. So season 11 begins on June the 20th, and the collaboration drops 9th of July, according to the Instagram, so that's something to watch and look out for. This is something that's great. And again, I always say this, I love the fact that the designers are so accessible now. This is again via TFW 2005, via Mark Clonus's Instagram. If you don't have his Instagram, you can read it on the website I've just said. These are all behind the scenes and photos. He has made a special note there that that is not gonna be the final color of the gun. The final color of the gun will be silver. So of course, this is the GoBots 3 pack that to be fair, I'm really excited about it. I'm lucky enough to have the eHobby Originals so I can do some full comparisons. And of course, the original owners of these molds as well. I think the color schemes on them are amazing. I love how Pathfinder looks there. I think she looks fantastic. I love that mold anyway. I think it works really good for the blue. Um, and again, I'll do a comparison with the original and of course with Cosmos as well. And that's how they're looking at the moment. But he did unfortunately also say that he hasn't got bug bite. So of course, I'll be bringing bug bite in for a bigger picture just like that. Right, this is something that I think looks really interesting. So this is from Cyan Culture, so it's third party. So it's the only figure of Cyan Culture I've reviewed on this channel is their massive Metroplex, but it's classed as a legend scale still, but it's still very, very big. Uh, so third party company Cyan Culture have updated their Weibo account with basically the train bots. So uh, funnily enough, there of course is the last one for the masterpiece. We're gonna get some legend scale Getsui and Yukikaze. So these are the images direct from TFW 2005. So legend scale is smaller than your standard line of figures so these will be in between core and deluxe if you only collect main main line figures however to me they look very much like the original uh, so it'll be interesting to see them next to the originals obviously again 40 plus years uh, further engineering which means that they've got ankle pivots heel sprues you know tilts and rock etc so these are going to be fantastic and they're something that i can definitely see myself getting on pre-order and having a look at as well Sticking with third party companies uh, on Fans Hobby's Facebook page, they are going to be releasing their masterpiece uh, scale tidal wave. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if this is actually as big as the Titan one because Fans Hobby's figures are at a masterpiece scale, so they're much, much bigger than most normal figures anyway. So, this is the first coloured sample without any spray paints direct from their Facebook group of the fleet. So, there is all three of them together uh, with the little mini cons on as well. There they are all individually. And there they are again from just a bit higher view. Again, I'm excited for this figure. Now I know more about Tidal Wave and I've had a good play around with and I think the masterpiece, no, the Titan is amazing. Completely blew my mind of how good it actually is. So I think it's something to definitely have a look 
into in the future. If you want to see loads of pictures before I get to do uh, Iron Factory's take on the Fallen, head to Iron Factory's Weibo. You can have a look at all these images. I've just selected one there because I think that looks spectacular. And also, again, if you want to get any of the third party figures, you can get them from this particular website here. This is Shows E's pre order page. You've got things on there like New Age, Doctor Wu's take on Megatron. We've got New Age's Dinobots, uh, the unofficial masterpiece uh, skids and mud flap. We've also got the DNA design upgrade kits we've got loads of things on here including the missing links uh the yeah they sorry the missing links the prime cliff jumper and of course the movie masterpiece brawl as well so well worth there's the tidal wave as well from fans hobby well worth checking out guys and of course don't forget you can help the channel by putting toys r us into the support your favorite review of r as well as always i've got another letter news tomorrow and I'm probably going to keep them like this, small little five or six minute things because they seem to go down a lot more. Um, and of course, everything else, anything else drops of relative interest, I'll let you know straight away. Thanks for the support. Take care.